Disassemble the control valve body assembly. Remove the control solenoid valve support. The control valve body bolt. The valve channel plate. The control valve channel plate spacer plate assembly. And the valve body ball check valves. To disassemble the control valve body, remove the first reverse and 456 clutch regulator valve train the 1234 clutch boost valve train the 1234 clutch regulator valve train the 26 clutch regulator valve train the 35 reverse clutch regulator valve train the clutch piston dam feed regulator valve train the TCC regulator apply valve train the clutch select valve train the actuator feed limit valve train and the manual valve. Clean and inspect the channel plate to valve body spacer plate assembly, the control valve body assembly, the control valve body guide pins, and the control valve channel plates. To assemble the control valve body, install the first reverse and 456 clutch regulator valve train. the 1234 clutch boost valve train the 1234 clutch regulator valve train The 26 clutch regulator valve train. The 35 reverse clutch regulator valve train. The clutch piston dam feed regulator valve train. The TCC regulator apply valve train. The clutch select valve train. The actuator feed limit valve train. and the manual valve. To assemble the control valve body assembly, install the valve body ball check valves, the control valve channel plate spacer plate assembly,
the valve channel plate, and the control valve body bolt. Torque the bolt to specification. Then install the control solenoid valve support. To install the control valve body assembly, install the new low and reverse clutch fluid passage seal. The new 1234 clutch fluid passage seal. The control valve body spacer plate assembly. The control valve body assembly while aligning the manual valve. the control valve body bolts. Torque all bolts to specification. The manual shaft detent lever spring assembly. The manual shaft detent spring bolt and torque the bolt to specification. The new fluid level control valve gasket. and the fluid level control valve. To install the control solenoid valve and transmission control module assembly, install a new control solenoid valve assembly filter plate. The control solenoid valve assembly and then install all the control valve body bolts and torque them in sequence to specification. To install the control valve body cover, install the input speed sensor connector, the output speed sensor connector, the shift position switch connector, the new control valve body cover wiring connector hole seal, a new control valve body cover gasket, the control valve body cover, and the control valve body cover bolts. Torque the bolts in sequence to specification. To install the torque converter, lower the torque converter straight down into the transmission to prevent damage to the torque converter clutch lip seal, and remove the torque converter lifting handles. The torque converter must be held in place by a retaining device to prevent it from sliding forward, disengaging the oil pump, or falling out of the transmission. That completes the assembly for the 6T40. With your skill as a GM service technician behind them, these transmissions will be serving your customers for years to come.